Hey guys, it's Pro here, and today, um, I just wanted to get, say to everybody out there that's watching this video, oh, Merry Christmas, and Happy Hanukkah too, for all the people that don't celebrate Christmas, and also, um, um, Merry Christmas Eve, because right now it's Christmas Eve, yeah, because it's the 24th, so yeah, um, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to, um, upload, up, upload your Minecraft world from real Minecraft into Cinema 4D, which Cinema 4D is an animation maker. You can make whatever you want. Animation, you don't have to do Minecraft. You could do anything. Like, I do different things, too, like Black Ops 2, Call of Duty, Ghost, anything. So, yeah, um, today for these programs, you're going to need, um, for the PC and Linux computers, you're going to need, obviously, Minecraft. You're going to need Cinema 4D. Mine and mine ways, and that's pretty much all you need. And you're just gonna need some space for these add-ons and materials. For the Mac, you're gonna need an X Quartz, Mine Ways, Minecraft, and Cinema 4D. And the reason why I'm saying X Quartz is because Mine Ways is usually a Minecraft, um, like is PC program. Sorry about that. And it's not really made for Mac, but they made it out for Mac, and this is how you get it. So first, I'm just going to bring you guys up to um, how do you get um, Mineways. So you're just going to want to go to Mineways. I'll have the link in the description. It's the real-time rendering, and then you just want to click that. Mineways is for using and putting in Cinema 4. You could put like your worlds and anything you mostly want into Cinema 4D and Blender. But I prefer Cinema 4D, but you have to pay for that. But and um. Also, it's for 3D printing, which a lot of people think you could just print it off of a real printer. No, you have to buy a 3D printer, which is probably like 1000 1500 And you can make your own, which it's really confusing. You have to be an uh, expert at it. So, yeah, um, as you can see, it's pretty cool. And so now you just want to click the download for whatever program you are. And right now, I'm just going to be doing the Mac. So PC, if you have a PC computer and you're watching this, just skip ahead. If you have a Mac, you can um, you have to watch this to use Mineways. <clears throat> so once you download Mineways, you're gonna get Mineways. You're gonna get a zip. Let me show you. Oh shit! So you're gonna get a zip. Sorry, my computer is slow. See, so you're gonna get a zip. You're gonna open it, and do not use Mineways yet because it will not work. It'll just open. It'll just say on your no. Unknown file. Sorry about that. It's Christmas. <laughs> and um, so the next program you're going to download is Xquartz. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> and for Xquartz, you're going to need, this is the mostly the main thing for it. You're going to want to download that. And you'll get this icon like I have here. So once you get Xquartz, you're free to use Mine, mine Ways. I don't know why I have it open. Must have been using it. So um, now, since you download that, now back to the PC and Mac, you're going to want to open Mineways. And then you'll just get this message, which you just click OK because it doesn't really matter. And you'll get um, the pamphlet, which the pamphlet allows you to use um, 3D printing and animations. This is like the only way to mostly put your. Um, Minecraft world into animation unless you make it, which will take you a very long time, so I don't expect you should. So, you, you're going to also need for this, I forgot to tell you guys, is the terrain. And for Minecraft, like the setting, like, like you're going to need grass, cobblestone, zombies, and like the faces, which I'll show you that. I think you guys know what it is. So now, you're going to want to go to file, and you're going to go set terrain file. And you should have it already. It should be like in this page, but... um. I had it at, like, they give you one in the mine, mine Ways folder. They give you the newest version, which I will show you. See, right here. Like, right here. Sorry about that noise. I don't know what the heck that is. But, um, see, it'll give you, like, the terrains for different stuff that you need. And the blocks. And all you just really need is Mine Ways. So, I'm going to open my terrain. Just, just open it. And it should still be blank. Don't worry. It's nothing bad. And these are for, like, the, the depths of what you want your blocks. Like, say, if, I forgot the block meter. I think it's, like, 144 blocks down. And you can use that if you want that all the way, which I just keep it at 62 because that's what I like it at. And you can't really change it because I didn't open a world yet. So now you're just going to want to go to open world and 
This is the block test, just in case it's not working for you, you can use that. You're going to want to go to Custom World, and then you're going to want to go to Minecraft folder and saves. And if you don't know how to get the Minecraft folder on Mac, you could just go to Library, which you just go to Finder, you click Go, and then Go To, and then it should pop up like Library. Yeah, that's pretty easy. And then go to Application Support, then Minecraft, and then go to your saves. And now you just want to pick whatever world you wanted to use for this animation. So you're going to want to click Open World. And this is actually, actually the way to go for if you want to 3D print too. So now... If you want to 3D print, you just export for 3D print, but that's not really what I'm working on. So right now, this is where your area is. This is the spawn, where you exactly spawn, which I spawned like right here in this middle, somewhere over here. And I remember because I actually made this world earlier, and I didn't really do anything to it. I just wanted to use this as an example. And so say if you spawn somewhere and you made your house far, far away, you're going to have to find that house because it's not going to take you to it. It's just going to, like whatever yeah but unless like you save that world and you were like at your house it'll spawn there if it doesn't then I don't really know the problem but so yeah so now you're gonna want to right click and you want to take the piece that you want to go in cinema 4d you could do the whole thing but I'll that'll probably take up a lot of space so you get this just click yes and that should be it oh why am I thinking So yeah, I want my next 62, that's what I wanted mine at. So now, um, you're, once you highlight it, you're going to go to Export for Rendering. You want to click that. And now you're going to want to save it wherever you like to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm just going to save it here. Oh crap, did I? I'm just going to say Example 1. And this, you're going to get this pop-up box. I don't know if it's on Windows, but I think it's, um, I think it's on Windows. You do not have to worry about this. This is ex advanced options. So, like, um, this is only for, like, if you're very, very good at animating and you really need to do, like, a rendering, like, see how it's like this. This is advanced options, which I do not think you need this um, for beginners. So just click OK. Just going to load and load and load and load. Also, if you don't have Cinema 40 yet, you, um, I'm going to be setting out. It's a lot of money to buy Cinema 40 Prime and all the different ones. But um, I'm going to have my Cinema 40. I'm going to make a free one for you guys just in case you can't really like afford it or you don't want to buy it. Um, I'm just going to make a free tutorial, which that's going to be coming out soon. It's just taking me a while. So now, see, um, you have your highlighted area, and it's saved. You have to just wait for it saved, and it's saved in. And all these are all for other things, so you can jump to player, model, whatever. Yeah, say so if you have two people in this, it's going to be, like, very different. So, um, so I'm just going to exit out of that, and I'm just going to close exports because I don't think I really need that. Now you're going to want to go to your, um, Cinema 4D. Okay. So now you're going to open, and I'm just going to go to example one I don't think I did a space did I? I have so many files on here it's horrible what? where did I save it to? I saved it to Minecraft oh my god this is annoying me I'm just gonna have to go to me the library. What? You gotta be kidding me. So I'm just gonna have to go from here because this is really annoying me. Mm -mm. Sorry about this, by the way. Oh, Minecraft. Okay, so <clears throat> I have a lot in here because I do other tutorials. So did I save it in here or did I save it? I saved it in the saves. I know I am. Okay, so you wanna. Go wherever you saved that file, and I saved it in New World. There it is. Okay, so here it is. You're going to get five things. Download it from Mineways, and this is what they are. You get a, whatever your name is, objective, dot objective, then you'll get MTL, and then you'll get the three PNGs, which you're going to need only two. 
on this you want to make black and white. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be using these two because I don't really use black and white. But if you do want a black and white, um, I'll go on them by the way. And you don't really need MCL right now, but I'll just show you these. Okay, so now you're just going to want to um, go here. And I have to go and drag this in there. Okay, there we go. Now open. Okay. It should be loading. It's going to load. Okay, so there's your worlds, as you can see. Um, I didn't want to do... I didn't think I did depth, did I? Yeah, I didn't do depth, so I just did a flat land. I didn't really feel like doing the bottom. If you, if yours turned out like mine did, if you, and if you wanted down blocks, you just put your depth back to 25 when you're on the Mindways program instead of 62, if you know what I'm probably talking about. So yeah, um, here's your world, and you can see that it's, it's all white. And, like, that's black, but you don't really know to, like, you don't really need that. So now what you want to do is you want to select all of these. And to do that, just go hold shift and click the last one, which is first click the first one, then go to the last one and then hold shift and then click the last one. I know that sounds really confusing, but you'll probably get it. I'll just tell you over again. The first one, you just click the first one. Then you want to go to the bottom Hold shift, then click the last one. There, I got it. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to want to go to the basics um, under attributes. You want to go to basics. Then you want to turn off specular, which I don't, if you want specular, that's up to you, but I don't really prefer, prefer specular. Then turn on your alpha. Then go to color. Go to the three dots texture. Now, okay, so now you have, see how you have your three textures for this world. You're going to want to go to um, the black one, the black with the pink, not the white with the pink or the black and the white. You want to go to the black and the pink, which if you want to do this world black and white, you click this one instead. Just because it says alpha doesn't mean you have to do it under alpha. Those are getting really confused, so if I'm doing it wrong, you could try both of them if it doesn't work. Which, um, just click the RGB PNG, and then you open that in the color. Just click yes. Okay, so now you have your thing here, your little mini world kind of scheme. And then you want to go to your alpha, and then you want to go to the same texture, three boxes. Then you want to click the white and pink one, this time the, R the RGBA, and then open, and click yes. And there, all that one did is it mostly made it see-through, so like... It actually looks like you're in a real Minecraft world. If you didn't put that in, that means you can't see through the trees, like the leaves of the holes inside of the leaves, and like on the trees, and like you can't really spectate the little dots on the stone and stuff. So now you have that. Okay, so mostly that's this end of the tutorial. And it was pretty kind of easy if you realized. Um, and it's really um, simple, yeah. And this is for the programs Mac and Linux and PC. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. And before I go, I just wanted to show you guys a little render of it. Okay, let me get a perfect picture. Okay, so I want to render it. Just gonna clean it out. See how it looks like regular Minecraft, and it looks like there's a shade, and it's black in the back. You see that too, because it's like nighttime. Wish you could change that if you want. And I'm just gonna go closer, just in case you want to see like the grass kind of. Okay, render. See, now the grass is not blurry, and now it looks like a real Minecraft grass, and you see the shade, and I suspect you do, like, the person standing up this way and looking this way if you want to do it like that so the shade will be reflecting. So, yeah, this is the end of this tutorial. I'll have all the links for all those websites that I went on and every download that I mostly did. And um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, and if this really helps you, um, you can like it. Any questions, write in the comment box below. And I'll see you guys later. Pro out.